taken in the night, a tale of alien abduction. The first sign was the hum, a low, insistent vibration that started subtly, like the distant motor of a lawnmower, then grew louder, more insistent until it pulsed through the very bones in my skull. It began while I was driving home, the late night air thick with the scent of pine and the promise of rain. By the time I pulled into my driveway, the hum was deafening, punctuated by a deep, guttural growl that sent shivers down my spine. I fumbled with my keys, the metallic taste of fear already coating my tongue. As I unlocked the door, the growls intensified, accompanied by a rhythmic thumping that seemed to come from directly above my house. My heart hammered against my ribs, a frantic drum solo in my chest. I knew deep down that I should stay inside, but a morbid curiosity, a primal need to know, propelled me forward. I stepped onto the porch, the air thick with a metallic tang that made my nostrils burn. The night was unnaturally still, the wind that had been whispering through the trees moments ago, now completely absent. I looked up, searching the dark sky, but saw nothing but the vast expanse of inky blackness dotted with a million indifferent stars. Then I heard it. A high-pitched whine like a banshee's wail cut through the night. I flinched, the sound an assault on my senses. It was followed by a blinding flash of white light, so intense that it burned my eyes and momentarily stole my breath. The ground beneath my feet vibrated with the force of the pulsating beam, and I braced myself against the porch railing, feeling a surge of sheer terror. When the light faded, I blinked, trying to adjust to the flickering shadows that now danced across my porch. My house, once familiar and comforting, now looked alien and menacing, bathed in an eerie greenish light that seemed to emanate from the sky. The humming was almost unbearable, a symphony of sonic torture, and I felt a growing sense of panic. Then I saw it, a massive disc-shaped craft, its edges blurred by the pulsating light, hovered silently over my house, its shadow stretching across my lawn like an ominous claw. The air around it crackled with static, and the metallic smell intensified, filling my lungs with a suffocating fear. A low, metallic ramp hissed down from the underside of the craft, landing with a thud on the porch. The air around it shimmered and distorted, like heat waves rising from pavement. I was frozen in place, paralyzed by fear, watching as a dark, shadowy figure emerged from the ship. It moved with a fluidity that was both mesmerizing and terrifying, its movements almost liquid. It was tall, with long, spindly limbs that ended in clawed fingers, and a head that seemed to be shaped like a skull, devoid of any features save for two glowing red eyes. Its skin shimmered, iridescent, like oil slicks on water. I tried to scream, but no sound came out. My throat was constricted, my breath caught in my chest. The creature reached out, its clawed hand coming to rest on my shoulder. Its touch was cold, like a dead fish, and sent a jolt of pain through my arm. Suddenly my body felt heavy, my limbs leaden. I couldn't move, couldn't even breathe. I was being lifted, my feet leaving the ground. The creature, or rather, creatures, for now I saw several more emerging from the ship, carried me towards the open ramp. My screams finally broke through the fear and the sonic pressure, but no one heard them, no one could, for the strange, alien hum now blocked out all other sound. I struggled, thrashing uselessly against the invisible force that held me captive, my heart pounding against my ribs, my mind drowning in a sea of terror. As I was being pulled towards the ship, I cast a last look at my house, at the world I knew. It seemed so far away, so distant, already a fading memory. I felt a wave of despair, a cold fear that seeped into my very soul. And then, silence. The hum, the growls, the pulsating light all vanished. The air still smelled of metal and ozone, but the ship, the creatures, everything, was gone. I was left on my porch, alone, my body trembling, my mind reeling. The night was back to normal, the stars twinkling above me, the wind whispering through the trees. But the air felt different, the silence felt heavier, and I knew in the depths of my soul 
that I would never be the same. I was marked, a survivor of the night, forever haunted by the memory of the alien abduction, the terrifying encounter that had forever altered my reality. Thank you for diving into the spine-chilling mysteries with Chills Unveiled. If you've enjoyed the eerie tales and creepy narratives that send shivers down your spine, make sure to subscribe to our channel for more hair-raising content. Hit that notification bell so you never miss an unveiling of the unknown. Join the community of thrill-seekers and let the darkness unfold. Subscribe now and let the nightmares continue.